Good morning. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroading here on Sunday morning. <laughs> Thought I'd throw that in there. Maybe you guys will like that. We got uh, what we're doing here. Been cribbing ties this morning. Uh, I've got a little bit of rock dumped so far. And this guy here, he's uh, he's in our regulator. He's going to shove his shoulder out for me, give me a little uh, extra room to work over here. That's a big help. He's, uh, instead of me having to do it with my little cribbing bucket, he's, uh, he's going to shove it over there for me. Cut that out against the ties, and that'll, that'll make me my job go a lot faster. Nice morning here, Sunday morning. We're at uh, milepost 6.2. And this is curve 26. If you guys watch the videos I put up of uh, the tie gang, uh, those videos were on the west end of curve 26 and up that tangent. That's right up above us. That's uh, west up that way. I've, uh, I had a buddy of 10 years and he retired a couple years ago. Uh, he ran the regulator, and he did a really good job running the regulator. I tell you, he was one of the best. He was really good, and uh, we worked really well together, and I really do miss him. They got another guy, and he did on it, and uh, he didn't really like the job all that much. He ended up retiring after about six months, so this is my new buddy. He's, uh, he doesn't have a lot of experience, but you know what? He's learning. He's a good learner, and he's a good worker, and he's... Uh, He's getting a lot better. He's, he's gonna be really good. So I'm thankful I got that. There's only, uh, we have 17 miles of jointed track here. And there uh, there's only two of us that work track full time. So we've got quite a job and it really uh, uh, makes a difference. It really helps when you got somebody you can count on to do a good job for you. But uh, my old buddy and we, we worked really with, well together. We, he knew what I was going to do. I knew what he was going to do. We didn't have to tell each other. And so that was, that's good. The reason all this rock is over here is it was all piled up on the other side of the track. That was all built up over there on the other side of the track. Uh, I came, I have a 30 inch smooth bucket for my excavator. And all along here, I threw all this rock from over there, over on this side. After uh, I get this all cribbed out, then I'll get back over here. I'll sit in the middle of the track with my excavator and shove all of this uh, down over the hill get that to drain out because the regulator just can't reach out far enough to do that for me but okay got a rock car coming up here later on he's down there getting loaded right now A John Deere four-cylinder engine in it. That regulator was made in 1995. We've we've had it for a long time. The old the old regulator that we had, actually the wings on the side ran by cables, and it was a real treat. There's the brooms. I'll make another video sometime. I'll show you up close to those brooms. He's gonna drag some of that rock next that we dumped. I dumped here this morning. He's gonna drag it up into these uh, empty cribs here.
this is my cribbing bucket what it's called is, is, is actual cribbing bucket I'm trying a new set of teeth here the teeth I had before were a little bit flatter I'm trying these this this uh, these are actually rock teeth and they're doing a pretty good job I kind of like them I buy these uh, off of eBay 20 20 at a time they, uh, they do uh, wear out with all this rock it's, we're even we're digging all this is just full it's full of coal and it's uh, get rid of this old stuff put some good stuff in here tamp this up and it'll be really good they do make another type of cribbing bucket that's called a banana bucket it's uh, wider a little bit wider here at the top and then it goes down to a point so it's about this narrow here at the end and it's shaped like a banana I like this bucket because it, it can uh, hold a so it can hold a good bit amount of material in it instead of that banana bucket that banana bucket can't hold very much material but uh, the banana bucket has a uh, has a good purpose too it's it's almost it's impossible to crib out a frog with this bucket that banana bucket you can do that also I can't tamp ties uh, with a banana bucket being as curved you can actually get under the ties and tamp a little bit of rock underneath the ties I know uh, that uh, you guys that have watched these videos of mine for a long time know what this is but there's a lot of new people coming in and they wonder what the crib is uh, the crib is the area between the two ties so when I dig that out they got old material out of there I got to clean this up a little bit more before he puts some rock in but when I dig that material out I'm some that's what I'm saying I'm cribbing the ties okay well I hope you enjoyed that uh, that little video he's gonna start pulling a little bit of rock up there on the outside for me I do want to say I really 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 appreciate all you guys for watching and rating in with all the excellent comments and the nice comments and even the, the comments that uh, aren't all that nice but I get very few of those but I don't care uh, it's it's just a, a real blessing to have you guys watch this it really is and it really means a lot to me So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a really good day.